Thanks, Stephen. State officials are asking hunters for samples as they test more deer for chronic wasting disease near the shoals. Deer in Tennessee and Mississippi, which border the shoals, have tested positive for the contagious and deadly disease. Way 31's Brecken Terry joins us live to explain why the state is sampling more deer in the shoals. I'm here at Florence Frozen Meats on South Court Street, and this is one of six freezers where hunters can bring some deer tissues to get sampled and tested for the chronic wasting disease. Chronic wasting disease has never been found in a human, according to the Centers for Disease Control, but it does pose a potential threat if someone were to eat infected meat. Yeah, it's deer season. I'm in the woods hunting. Jamie Wallace is an avid deer hunter. He hunts deer not only in Alabama, but in Tennessee, where some deer have tested positive for chronic wasting disease. It's one of the biggest concerns. I, you know, I mainly hunt up in Tennessee, and so, you know, it's really a concern up there where we hunt at as well. The Centers for Disease Control says hunters should wear latex gloves when dressing a deer to prevent exposure to the chronic wasting disease. One thing that we're asking everyone to do, even non-hunters, is to let us know if they see any sick deer, deer acting abnormally. Alabama Wildlife and Freshwater Fisheries officials tell us they have tested 8,000 deer in the state since 2002, and none of them have tested positive for the disease, but they're increasing the sampling of deer in the shoals. Some of the cases in Mississippi and Tennessee have been less than 50 miles from our border, and so we're just increasing sampling efforts in those areas that are touching those sister states that have had a positive diagnosis. Wallace tells us as a hunter he's worried the disease could spread into Alabama deer. Uh, my current my concerns are is mainly for further generations, you know, the deer herd population uh, dwindling down between uh, now and, you know, when my kids get old enough where they can go hunting on their own. That's, that's my biggest concern. Now this Saturday, biologists with the Alabama Wildlife and Freshwater Fisheries Division will be at the Waterloo Volunteer Fire Department sampling deer. They only need a very small amount to test, but said it could take a couple of months to get those results back. Live in Florence, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. Thanks, Breck. And Way 31 checked just before this newscast. Two more cases of CWD were just confirmed in Mississippi, bringing the total there to six. Tennessee has confirmed 24 cases in two counties alone. CWD has been confirmed in 25 other states.